Well, hello, this is Peter Combs from Bitamount.com and P.L. Combs Asian Art, located here in Gloucester, Massachusetts. And today is Friday, February 2nd, 2018. And as always, we'll take a look back at last week's uh, uh, auction results on eBay, see what happened, see what some of the things brought. We'll take a look ahead at what's coming up in the coming week that we've spotted that will be in this week's newsletter when we update the page uh, at the end of the day today. And, uh, but before we get started, I wanted, I wanted to mention something. Um, over the years, people have asked why we don't have a forum, some sort of discussion board on here. And we've wanted one for some time, but have been unable to uh, uh, find a program that really works well, one that will allow you to do everything you want with images and create the right kinds of links. Well, one finally came up, and we added it this week. It just, it just launched the day before yesterday. And if you click the button that says the forum at the top of the home page, it's up here. It'll bring you over here, and right now it's it's fairly simple. We've kept it down to about six or seven categories, and uh, but covers a, a fairly wide variety of things. And on here you can uh, there's a video uh, attached to this page, a very short instructional video. If you're not familiar with uploading images and creating links, you can go there. It'll give you a quick walkthrough. But uh, here's the page, and at the top, of course, is a general discussion board where you can put up things, talk about things that interest you, and uh, see what your friends think. And uh, then there's also a section called Share Your Favorite Things, uh, objects that you've bought or objects that you've seen that you particularly like and, and want other people to see them, get their thoughts. There's a link for that. And then there's on the market, your own items. This is, this is for folks that want to sell something. For example, you know somebody that wants to sell something. You can put it up here. Um, you can, it'll be like, treat it like Craigslist. You want to sell something on Craigslist, you put your information up, how to get a hold of you, and uh, go ahead and do it, okay? We're not in the transaction. Don't put us in the middle of it. But if you, if you have something up, you, you find a way. Everybody's a grown-up. You can work out how to do your own deals, sell things, okay? But uh, don't mess around. If I hear of any shenanigans, you're going to be booted off. All right, and then auction news, upcoming auctions and auction results. If, you got, if you've gone to an auction and you saw something great and it brought a lot of money or it didn't bring a lot of money and you want to share it, bring it here and put it up. If you went to a big, one of the big city auctions and saw something great, post, post the information about it here. Okay? And then there's Asian art currently on eBay. This is for those of you who like to look around on eBay and find things and maybe you want to share something you found with the, with the people that use the site or if you're a seller and you have an auction starting and you want to give it a little extra promotion, um, uh, put it on here, bring it over, bring it, put up your, uh, um, your, a couple of photographs or a composite with a bunch of pictures in it and uh, uh, create a link to your eBay page and go ahead and do it. It's fine with us, all right? And then there's another section on here for suspected, suspected fakes and copies. Um, if you see an auction out there like, you know, Eden Galleries or Altair or one of these places and they seem to have a lot of, lot of reproductions, uh, put a link in, in the date of the auction up and, and, and tell folks what's going on. That way people don't get taken advantage of and ripped off. And then at the last part of the, the page so far is a thing called Help Identify This. And that's exactly what it is. If you have something or you've seen something, you've been to an auction or a yard sale or something, you bought something and you don't know what it is, uh, just come over and, and upload a picture with some dimensions, top, bottom, front, you know, you know, put up two or three pictures, four pictures, and uh, ask, what is it? See if you can get some information. And uh, we're hoping you'll find it useful, okay? And uh, we'll change it as it go along, goes along. We'll modify it. We, there's all kinds of things we can do here. But I thought this would be a fun start. And all you do is you come over here, click it. There's a log. This Right now, this says log out because I'm logged in. But... Normally it would say log in here, and you can um, uh, probably log in. Through, you can log into your Facebook account. You can create your own separate account that, uh, and build your profile. Put your picture on there, whatever information you want to share, and uh, have at it. Okay, so that's it. That's it for that. Uh, so check out the forum, and uh, and I, I hope you use it. I hope it's successful. I hope people enjoy it because uh, it's been a while coming. Okay, and uh, now over to last week's newsletter. Here it is. Uh, it was a pretty good week last week, actually. There were some great things. Uh, Josh Chamberlain here had uh, Juice 1499. He had a sale that ended on uh, Monday, and in it was this giant statue. It was quite a thing. It was uh, 41 inches or so tall, uh, made around 1900, 1910. It was marked. It had a really, we talked about it last week a bit. There it is. It's a spectacular thing. And uh, last week's newsletter, it was up to about 20,000, a little over 20,000. And uh, we speculated that it would probably jump a bit at the end. And it did. It jumped another, um, 
another uh, 50%. It went up to 33,311 uh, dollars. Very nice thing. It could have brought 40. You never know with these things, but, but it was a very unusual piece. Beautiful piece of Famille Rose. Very good quality. Uh, just excellent. And the other thing that Josh had up that did quite well with with is this pair of double gourd. Uh, uh, Femi June uh, vases with uh, blue dragons on it. Beautifully drawn blue dragons, too, I might admit. These are 19th century jars, but uh, really good quality, really great quality. They had been drilled previously. Uh, as you can see, they were lamps, which doesn't surpri shouldn't surprise anyone. These things were 24 or so inches tall. These were big vases, okay? Um, and they brought $12,588 with the holes in the bottom. So um, damage or, or things like this don't always impact the price too much. All right, and then there was this. This was something for somebody maybe shopping on a on a, on a less uh, less glorious budget, but a really nice looking carved and stained soapstone of a beggar carrying a double gourd vase. I thought this was quite lovely. I, I liked this. I liked these uh, sort of uh, oddball uh, carvings and statues. It wasn't terribly big. It was six or seven inches tall, but very nice quality. And it went very modestly, $145. Okay, if you saw this and you didn't leave a bid on it. And you liked it, you probably should have, okay? You know, as I say over and every, vi every video, I say always leave a bid, all right? It's so easy to forget them. You put them on your watch list and you get on to other things and you forget. If you put, them, if you put a bid on it, you'll be notified uh, as it comes to the close. And if you've been outbid, you keep track of it, okay? And then there was this vase. I like this. I, I like this. I, these, these late 19th century vases, as you know, if you've seen a number of them, they come in a really wide variety of quality. Some of them are rather poorly done. Some of them are pretty well done. And this has that uh, brown dressing that they did to sort of emulate uh, bronze mounts on these vases. They were very popular in the set last quarter of the 19th century. Um, and here's the bottom of one, very typically with this sort of apocryphal uh, type of mark on the, on the base and also in the brown dressing. And uh, this was a nice vase. It was about 17 or 18 inches tall, as I recall. And uh, it went for $690, which is a pretty reasonable price for that. That's a, that's a rather handsome example. Uh, much better than most, uh, really was. It was quite a good piece. And uh, then on to uh, this. This was a, a, a very nice uh, Famille Rose figural vase with alternating scenes of, of, of uh, men and women. Um, with uh, auspicious symbols and vases and precious objects in between. It was a good-looking vase, and uh, it did pretty well. It brought $1,375, uh, and it wasn't enormous. How tall was it? It was a little, well, it was 14 inches tall. It was pretty good size, but a, a nice-looking vase, very nice vase, first half of the 19th century. And uh, then there was this, the uh, very nice-looking, uh, probably late Ming or early Qing, uh, bronze, uh, you call them scroll weights. I'm not so sure they were, but they, they could be. It's hard to tell with these pictures because it's a fairly complicated casting. But it had a very nice deep dark uh, patina on it. Uh, very well done. Here's a detail of it with these these uh, foo lions. Uh, uh, nice quality. Here's an old sticker on it. But the patina was good on these. I liked them. I liked it. And uh, it did pretty well. It brought $798, uh, which is a, a perfectly reasonable price for a nice old piece like this. Okay, I like that. And uh, this was, I think, one of the uh, one of the uh, maybe one of the bargains that uh, was in uh, Juice uh, Juice Josh Chamberlain's auction was this pair of Tibetan bronze appliques. These were beautiful, um, nicely done, gilded. Uh, let's see if we can get a better picture. There they are. Okay, just excellent quality. I talked about them last week. I thought they'd do. Pr I thought they'd bring fifteen hundred or so, uh, just to rip maybe two thousand even. And somebody got them. I think very reasonably. For nine hundred and sixty dollars, that is not an overpayment at all. Those are those are cool. I liked them. All right, nice quality. And uh, then there was this this sort of late Ming um, uh, Zhizhou glazed or uh, you know garlic garlic mouth vase. Had an old Skinner auction house label on 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 the side. Uh, Skinner's, as you know, is in Boston. The seller is a local guy, um, so he probably picked it up there some years ago. There's the bottom of it. And it did pretty well. It brought $659. It measured seven inches in height. It was a good old piece uh, made probably during the middle part of the 16th uh, uh, century. Okay. And uh, then there was this. This was a, a, a rather nice uh, early 20th century uh, spittoon. We'll blow it up here for you. There it is. Uh, nicely done. A very typical uh, uh, decoration for these early 20th century pieces. Even late 19th century on occasion. But usually these are early 20th century. 
and uh, here's a picture of the bottom. Well done, nicely decorated, good quality. Uh, the flowers on this were quite well done for uh, uh, an early 20th century piece. Uh, look, looked more like 18th century decoration in this in this part here. And uh, they, it did pretty well. It brought $510. It wasn't an enormous piece. Uh, it was, you know, uh, probably about eight inches or so tall. Let me check. I don't know. It's always good to know how tall things are. So they put it in here. That's the question. Uh, size terms. It's got to be on here somewhere. There it is, 22 centimeters. So about eight inches tall. All right. And then there was this pair of vases. These were nice. These were pretty. The, uh, uh, the Mandarin with the uh, court figures and uh, an immortal off in, in front there on the left with a lady and her uh, fan. And, uh, but well decorated, nicely done. A little wear on the gilding here on the Foo Lions. But uh, they did pretty well. They brought $1,033, okay, which is a nice price for those. And uh, then there's this Japanese bronze. This was a, a, a late Edo, early Meiji period bronze, uh, but well done. Nice color, good patina. And I like the big rocky base it was sitting up on. Um, very well done. And a nice looking thing. And it was inscribed on the back, okay? And uh, people sometimes skip by these as well. It's not that interesting. Well, inscriptions make things interesting, okay? You, whenever, you, whenever possible, it has an inscription. So really think about whether you, you want to buy it because it's, it's, it often leads to good things. And uh, it went for $3,050. So I guess some people read the inscriptions. And uh, that was a nice casting. And uh, then this came up. This was a nice thing. This was a, 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 a Femi Veron biscuit. Uh, 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 brush pot of some kind, nicely done, beautiful, beautifully figured. It did have a hole in the bottom. It had been drilled, but it's probably an early night. I think it's early. It looks early 19th, late 18th century to me, and uh, it brought $970 with the hole in the bottom. Okay, uh, but that was a good thing, a nice object. And uh, then there was this. this was a very unusual teapot. Those of you that like uh, Chinese export, if you notice the. Uh, the uh, cup in this, the main scene with the, uh, with the bowl with the fruit in it is rather focally drawn. It's a little more like folk art than very fine uh, studio painting that you see on Chin Lung uh, teapots typically. And it made it rather interesting. And uh, apparently uh, a few people thought so too and it, still, it brought $374, okay, uh, which is a pretty good price. That's about what a really finely painted one uh, brings, but I think it was because the, it was it was almost like folk art, uh, qu quite unusual. And uh, then there was this. This was that uh, reticulated bronze that was on the sort of mounted on a mirror stand that was uh, we talked about last week. I liked the stand a lot. I liked the bronze. I think the bronze was probably 18th century, but uh, very nice quality and uh, well done all the way around. And it did pretty well. It brought $1,220. It was about eight inches tall, as I recall. All right. Nice, nice little piece. And then the pair of Kung Shi plates. These were rather elegant, and it's a nice scene, lots of negative space. The borders weren't overbearing at all, integrated quite well, and I thought these were pretty attractive. And uh, they did fairly well. They brought $663 for the pair, but not an outrageous price at all for two, for two nice plates. Uh, I thought that was a pretty good deal. Lofseeker had those. Uh, he's a, a, a seller in, in Hampshire in the United Kingdom. He gets good things. And this was one of the sort of the bargains of the week. It was a rather simple but authentic uh, Chen Lung armorial uh, export plate. It had a little bit of wear to the enamels, but, but a nice old crest on it. I'm sure you could look it up in, 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 in Howard's book to find out who it was. And uh, it had a few little nibbles around it. But if you like armorial, this was a bargain. It went for $158, okay? Uh, that was, a, that was a, a very reasonable purchase. That was not a lot of money for a... 1770s dish, okay, and uh, then there was was this. This is the uh, a very nice, probably Yong Chen, uh, by the looks of it, uh, dish with this b sort of unusual brown dress, Ruyi head uh, border, and these uh, curly, uh, uh, you know, vine type elements and flowers and so forth all the way around. Nice looking plate, and uh, it went uh, pretty reasonably, 160 dollars. He had two of them up. Um, but that's a, that's a, that was a nice buy. That's a good quality piece of porcelain. Very nicely done. And then there was this. This was that uh, planter uh, done in the, they, they sometimes call this the, the Empress Dowager sort of uh, manner, the Sikshi. Uh, they had uh, the style of painting became quite popular. Uh, it was, this is done with Femil June and has this turquoise ground. Nicely done dragon. 
and uh, the interior was all painted with fish, okay, so you could put your carp in it, okay, there it is, or a plant, and uh, it did very well. It brought $2,420, uh, but not, not outrageous. They are, are quite, uh, quite collectible these days, um, and they were often done in pairs. Sometimes you find these in pairs floating around, all right? And then there was this. This was a nice, big, oblong platter, 17 inches long with immortals on it, beautiful quality decoration. This really had top quality enameling for an export plate. Uh, the facial characteristics, lots of gold still in the hair. Uh, there's rather, this, this nice cracked ice pattern vases and so forth. Lots of precious objects all over it. Uh, really nice piece. And, and you know, as you know, export pieces have been sort of down in the market lately. Well, this one did really well. It brought $2,462, which is a good, strong price for that. Um, that was it's rather encouraging to see that. Uh, I've seen some plates of this quality go for you know five or six hundred in the last uh, in the last year on here. You may think back we, we've talked about them, but that that's a, that's an interesting uh, that was an interesting uh, sale. And then uh, last is this. This was that uh, late 19th, early 20th century uh, sort of aubergine uh, glazed Kong. Um, that the, the fellow had up. Uh, it has a chin lung mark on it. It's of course not not Chin Lung, um, but it is uh, late, late 19th century, to, in my opinion. Uh, I love the foot on it. The foot is exactly as it should look. Uh, the glaze on it looks pretty good. There's, you know, these little sort of uh, little bits of edge wear and so forth, which is normal on these. Doesn't look contrived. The way the glaze sort of altered here on the, on the, on the edges and so forth. Nice looking pot, okay, and I, th I love the form. And uh, it did well. It brought four thousand and sixty dollars, uh, and I hope the buyer pays for it. But that's a that's a nice piece. That was a nice piece. And then moving on to uh, what's coming up uh, uh, later uh, this weekend and next week, down at the bottom, there's a few pieces already up, but we're going to be adding a few more. Um, let's get over here. That's our watch list, actually. There we go. Uh, is this uh, our friend uh, Freak over in the Netherlands has this up? Nice young Chen. Uh, uh, Famille Rose plate, very brightly colored, very energetically painted. Uh, I like the, I like the, they use pink a lot, especially in framing it and doing the lotus lappets here around the outside and then this central reserve with this uh, rocky outcropping and, and so forth. A nice looking plate, okay, and that is right now, it's only up to $76. It should do quite a bit better than that, but if you, if you like 18th century porcelain, that's a nice example. It's very pretty. And uh, these are up, these sold actually a couple of weeks ago and they did quite well. And unfortunately, the buyer never paid his bill. I, um, a lot of people bid on these things, try to tie them up um, and then try to resell them before they have to pay their bill, especially in China. The Chinese guys do this all the time. If they can't sell it, they just walk away from the transaction. I have a feeling that's what happened to this guy. Um, but there's the bottom of it. These are nice looking uh, Tung Shi plates. And one of them had, it did have a line in it, which was clearly shown. But it's a pair. You don't find these in pairs very often at all. And they're uh, 13 inches in diameter, so they're both big. These are chargers, all right? And he's put it back up this time with a reserve. It's up to $683, all right? Those are nice. And uh, Mark Wahlberg over in Pennsylvania put these up, this up. This is a really nice uh, yellow ground, imperial yellow ground uh, silk embroidery. Nice needlework, very high quality, and it's fairly big. As I recall, it's 40 or so inches. Uh, check it out. It's a nice thing. It's up to $255. It's got a week to go. It closes in a week, but uh, that'll be in the newsletter this week. And then there's this nice little trumpet base, 19th, 18th century trumpet base uh, with vines and so forth done very much in the Kangxi style. He has it listed as Kangxi, and I, I, it could be, but I, I, I wonder if it isn't maybe a little later. Uh, but a nice looking, a nice looking uh, trumpet base nonetheless. So a bid according to your wallet if you like it. And then uh, last up is this, our friend Will uh, over in, um, uh, he uses the name God Revy, uh, William over in the UK, has this nice looking liver red uh, vase uh, up. He, uh, it's got a chin lung mark on it, but he, he seems to feel it's probably uh, uh, a late latter 19th century piece. I, I tend to agree with him. Um, but nice glaze, beautiful color, uh, nicely done. Uh, he went so far as to put up a one that was uh, in the uh, Christie's sold a while ago. Um, there's another one, okay, but here it is. 
and uh, I think it's pretty good. And it's up to $758, and it's, it has a couple of days to go. It closes this Sunday. It'll be in the newsletter, so go back and check it out. Okay? And that's it for the week. Uh, if you haven't signed up for the newsletter yet, please come over to Bitamount.com and do so. And please subscribe to us here on YouTube. It really helps us out if you give us a little thumbs up. Uh, YouTube seems to like that. And, uh, and uh, check out the, uh, the new form we put up. All right? Have a great weekend, everybody, and uh, talk to you all next week. Send me a message uh, if uh, you have any trouble with the form or you need to let me know anything. All right. Thank you. Have a great week. Bye-bye.